In this question, we are told that Agnes and Barbara play a game, and that Agnes rolls die A and Barbara rolls die B. The probability that Agnes's score is less than Barbara's score is one half. We have to find the value of EY. There are different ways to solve this question. Here I will start by listing the possible outcomes of the two dice. There are six different ways in which Agnes's score can be less than Barbara's score. These are the following. 1 on A and 2 on B. 1 on A and 3 on B. 1 on A and 4 on B. 2 on A and 3 on B. 2 on A and 4 on B. And 3 on A and 4 on B. In the tables above, we are given the individual probabilities for each possible outcome on the two dice. So using the tables, we can write an expression for the probability of each of the six outcomes that we just listed below. The probability of getting a 1 on die A is P, and the probability of getting a 2 on die B is Q. Therefore, the probability of this outcome is P times Q. Using the same logic, for an outcome of 1 and 3, we also get PQ. For 1, 4, we get PR. For 2, 3, we get PQ. For 2, 4, we get PR. And for 3, 4, we also get PR. A key concept here is that when we add these six products, we get the total probability that Agnes's score is less than Barbara's score. Adding the six products, we get 3PQ plus 3PR for this probability. In the next step, we'll use the result from question part A, where we found that P is 2 over 7. Let's substitute 2 over 7 for P into the expression 3PQ plus 3PR. 3 times 2 over 7 is 6 over 7, so we get 6 over 7Q plus 6 over 7R. Based on the information that is given in question part E, this probability is one half. Next, let's consider the probability distribution for Y. In this distribution, the probabilities here must add up to 1. Therefore, we can write that 3Q plus R is equal to 1. What we ended up with are two equations with two unknowns. There are different ways that we can solve this pair of equations. Here, I will use the substitution method and rearrange the second equation to get that r is equal to 1 minus 3q. Substituting 1 minus 3q for r in the first equation, we get 6 over 7q plus 6 over 7 times 1 minus 3q equals to 1 half. Solving this equation gives us that q is 5 over 24, and substituting this value back into the equation for r and solving, we get that r is 9 over 24, which we can also write as 3 over 8. In question part D, we use this equation from section 4.7 of your formula booklet to find an expression for ey, and we got 6q plus 4r. From here, we simply have to substitute for q and r, which gives us 6 times 5 over 24 plus 4 times 9 over 24. So we end up with 30 over 24 plus 36 over 24, which is 66 over 24, or 11 over 4. Let's see two exam taking tips to help you earn full marks on similar questions. The first one is that if your final answer is a fraction, both the numerator and the denominator must be given as integers, but you don't have to give the fraction in the lowest form unless this lowest form is an integer. So here, for instance, I could have left my final answer as 66 over 24. I actually encourage students not to simplify fractions, because simplifying takes time, and you might also make a mistake. The second tip is for you to keep in mind that the last question part on long questions, in section B of your exam, is usually quite difficult and to find the solution, you often have to use results from several previous question parts. Here, for instance, we used results from question parts A, C, and D.